It's good to be in this room where I first started attending meetings 30 years ago. Wow. It's been a while, but uh, I appreciate the hard work that you put in, day in and day out, to improve your community. David, thank you for your service. Mike Connell for yours. Seal all for yours. Jennifer and Debbie, you've all done a great job uh, working on behalf of your community. I was pleased to be with you for the Crime Night Out. That was an excellent event. I have to alternate years between Shady Side and Brooklyn Park, but uh, I always like to come to Brooklyn Park so for that very important event. That's important because it underscores the need for partnership. Partnership between the citizens and the police officers. Police officers will tell you that that kind of partnership, the eyes and ears of the community working together, uh, really makes a difference in trying to reduce the incidence of crime. Uh, we talked about in the prayer about the veterans. And uh, even though these are tough times uh, in our community, in the state, in the nation, I've tried to make what I call strategic investments that improve the quality of life for our citizens. One of those areas is for our veterans. I put in uh, monies and increased the budget year after year with the help of the county council. We've secured monies uh, for post-traumatic stress syndrome for those veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, if you go by Veterans Highway, and I hope some of you do from time to time, you'll see the memorial that I was able to uh, have placed there in honor of the first responders and in honor of those victims who lost their lives on 9-11. Uh, how many, by show of hands, how many of you have seen that memorial up there on Veterans Highway? I'd recommend that you, you go up there and take a week. I read an article in the Wall Street Journal about the beams that were available, and I decided to get some of those beams from the uh, tower and made a very, uh, I think, innovative and creative uh, memorial there in front of the police headquarters on Veterans Highway. So I hope some of you who have not been up there will have a chance to do that.